we begin with Holly, who is a young music scholar and who was chosen by her peers back in uh, September to sing the solo in Once in Royal David City. So she started the year out with a bang and she's going to be singing How Far I'll Go from Moana. Moving from our youngest performer to one of our most seasoned, long-serving um, veterans, Ruby is going to play the second movement of a recorder sonato by Francesco Barsanti. Thank you. 
So we're back to year seven now with Ting, who is playing um, the um, Suite de Trois Morceaux, Movement One. notes about something that interests me a lot and it's the Waldorf Astoria Hotel. Um, it's a luxury hotel in Midtown Manhattan in New York. It was built in 1931 and it remained the tallest hotel in the world until 1963. One of its many signature dishes is the Waldorf salad um, which is made from apples, celery and mayonnaise. Around the time, you asked me why did I say that, I love food, but around the time that that hotel was built, jazz was becoming popular um, in the USA and around the world, and this is perhaps what inspired jazz um, composer Philip Lane to write the next piece, which is called Strutton at the Waldorf. So imagine that Isabella is in this posh hotel playing us some jazz.
And now Tina is going to play the Cradle Song by Peking composer Ni Hongjing. Thank you very much, Tina. And now we move into year nine, um, music scholars. Stay. Stay is a song recorded by Rihanna for her seventh studio album, Unapologetic, in 2012. I would imagine it won't be too long before we see Jules taking home the gold from one of those TV competition stages.
I think it might be Anna next. We'll see. It'll be a surprise to me as well as you. So here we go. Over to the hall. Now back with the program, we are now moving on to Annabelle, um, I hope. French music critic Jean Galois said that the clarinet sonata that you're about to hear is the most important of three wind sonatas by composer Camille Saint-Saëns.
the next song is one of the coolest songs that was ever written. After all, it was performed by Peter Parker in Spider-Man 3 in 2007. Today, it's the turn of Alina and Chili together in our first ever Scholars and Leavers duet um, to, uh, to show us what it's like to run a musical fever. Fever with that flame in 
going to perform music by Georg Friedrich Handel, a German composer, perhaps best known for his Messiah, from which the Hallelujah Chorus comes. Um, sonatas are usually in three movements, and Emily is going to perform two today. The first one is Larghetto, and that means slow, and the second one is Allegro, which means fast.
Now, not only is she an expert cellist, I'm talking about Martha here, um, but Martha's also a fine singer, and she's going to be form performing She Used to Be Mine from the musical Waitress. is going to play today is Bach's Sonata in G minor, BWV 1020. Annalie is going to play the first movement of the sonata.
Now, Green Finch and Linnet Bird is a song from my favorite composer Stephen Sondheim's musical thriller, Sweeney Todd, which is about a murderous barber. Listen as Eleanor tells that story through song. is going to play the first movement of Beethoven's sonata, which is marked presto alla tedesca, which means fast in the style of a German waltz. Thank you. 
So moving on, we are going to hear a piece that's really popular and everybody will have heard it. It is Over the Rainbow. It was written for the movie The Wizard of Oz and was sung by Dorothy in the film who longs to escape her dreary life on the farm in Kansas. Eleven versions have charted the top 100 list around the world, and today Ellie is going to play a jazz-influenced piano version, which is on the grade six piano syllabus. So over to Ellie. Um, the next we're going to hear Robert Schumann's song, Widmung. Uh, it has a beautiful story behind it. The song was written for and dedicated to the composer's beloved Clara as a wedding gift. Now listen as Talia sings this beautiful wedding gift of a song. Thank you. 
Naomi is going to play a second movement, which is called a poem from Andrew Adorian's Serenade Basque. Now, Georgie is a musician who was last seen playing pots, pans, and wooden spoons in the gala concert. But she's also a trumpet player and a fine singer and a swimmer whose chosen song today is a bit of a mystery. No one really knows who wrote Ave Maria, mainly because it wasn't discovered until the 1970s. Whatever the truth, it's certain that this melody is loved by many, and I think many of you will recognize this song. If you've never heard it before, you're in for a treat.
Next, Kendra is going to play a French Impressionist Claude Debussy's La Plus Que Long, which means the more, the more Than Slow. It's a waltz for solo piano written in 1910. The piece debuted at the new Carlton Hotel in Paris. We've had lots of information about hotels today. Over to Kendra.
Thank you very much. That was very exciting. It's so lovely to be able to do a concert together in a space um, again. And I hope that our very next events, um, our house music competition and our summer concert are just as normal as can be. Now we've got some flowers to present to three girls who are leaving us. So we'll watch that now. Thank you three girls who are leaving us. And thank you all for watching. Bye.